one thing right, it was you and me. Hello everyone, my name is Naima and welcome back to my channel. So today is day four of the 12 days of Christmas that I am doing here on booktube with my friend Em. I'll have her channel and her video linked down below but basically if you missed my last videos every day until Christmas day I will be filming a video and I'm having so much fun doing it and today's video is going to be a bookshelf tour. I have never actually filmed a bookshelf tour for my channel just because my bookshelves are weird to me. Like I never love the way they look. Right now they're okay but I still am not 100% in love with them and I don't think I'm ever going to be in love with them unless I get new shelves because I'll show you. My other shelf is like deteriorating and yeah. I figured there'd never be a good time where I'd be like, oh yes, I love them so much. So I was like, it doesn't even matter. Let's just film this video. Now I'm going to do it. It's all lit up for the holidays, kind of. I'll go into that detail in a little bit, but for now, let's just get right into this video. Okay, so this is an overview of my shelves. I'll go into how everything is organized, but first, just in case anybody is wondering, I got both of these shelves off of the Facebook Marketplace, $20 a piece, and I realize now how bad of an idea that was because this bookshelf right here is literally, is like busting, and it's really annoying me, and I'm just never going to love my shelves, so I was like, let's just do this. I'm probably going to replace it soon because I feel like it is really close to collapsing underneath there's like you can see the books from this shelf my bookshelf is lit up with string lights kind of i basically left for college i come back and only half of them not even less than half light up now so there's like str there's lights all along here but i guess it decided to quit on me for today's video and then i also have these like vines that used to go across also but I thought it kind of looked really busy and just like a messy so now I only have it going vertically which I really love yeah let's get into the individual shelves so this shelf right here is my like romance shelf my specific like this is all the romance books I own besides the historical romances down there and then this one has everything else so this one is like fantasy why a paranormal ish like that is also paranormal romances but this is just like my paranormal shelf we have literary fiction thrillers and horror and then and then historical romance historical romance and i'm gonna start with my favorite shelf first this is my romance shelf i always sit in front of this one it's the one that makes me the happiest so Let's get into it. So on the very first shelf, this one's a bit random. In the beginning, I have like series here. This is like Tilly Cole's Motorcycle Club series. I've only ever read this one. And then this is Christina Lauren's Beautiful Bastard series. I only have three of those. Fifty Shades of Grey, the Crossfire series. Um, all my Colleen Hoover books. I have It Ends With Us, Ugly Love, November 9, um, Never... What is this? Never Never. Um, Layla. And then over here is just really random. These are books that I only have one book from an author. So we have Ecstasy by KB Rose, A Favorite, The Dare by Harley LaRue, Torn by Carrie and Cole. And then these books are also just like one book by an author kind of thing. So we have Dark House by Karina Halley, Dead of Night by Emily Goodwin. Desperate Measures by Katie Robert, Follow Me Darkly by Helen Hart, Thoughtless by S.E. Stevens, Sustained by Emma Chase, Black Tangled Heart by Samantha Young, and another Samantha Young. And then a Corinne Michael, Say I'm Yours, one is just pretty simple. And then we have one of my favorite shelves, and this is my beautiful Sophie Lark shelf. So over here we have the Brutal Birthright series, then we have the Kingmaker series, we have the Underworld series, and then this duet, There Are No Saints and There Is No Devil. And then we just have like this candle hoard holder here. This has like books that I have not read yet um, and little p tiny pieces of paper. And sometimes I like to go in it and randomly pick a book whenever I do like my TBRs and stuff. So that's what's here. I love this shelf so much. There's just something about one author on one singular shelf. I think it's so nice. 
And then directly under, we have... This shelf is a little bit random as well. This one's definitely more by, like, world and, like, series. So, that's an author also. So, on this side, we have the Midnight Dynasty universe, some books in there. I have Dangerous Temptation by Gianna Darling. Um, Skyscraper Cinderella series by Kay Webster. I love this series. And then we have this series by Jade West. I don't even know what it's called, but it, this book is follows Lucian and Elaine. And then we have Lessons in Sin by Pam Godwin. So all these ones are Midnight Dynasty Universe. And then we have A Lady of Rooksgrave Manor by Catherine Moon. This duology by Teal Swan. I love the stopover. I've yet to read the takeover yet. And then going vertically, we have Amo Jones and then Liza James. These three books are the Midnight Mayhem series. Then these ones are the Silver Swan series. I still need to get um, the last three books in the series. And then we have the Vibe and Hush by Liza James and then Faded and Descent by Liza James as well. Over here, we have some Pam Godwin books besides Lessons in Sin, because that one's specifically a part of the Midnight Dynasty universe. Sea of Ruin, the prequel to Sea of Ruin, Dark Notes. The Maid series by Daniel Laurie, so The Sweetest Temptation, The Maddest Obsession, and The Darkest Temptation. My faves, I love them. And finally, we have my L. Kennedy collection. We have the, all the books in the Off Campus series, and then one of the books in the Briar U series. So I do love this shelf a lot. I like how it's like all blues and dark colors. So that one I really enjoy. And then directly under, directly under this one's a bit random. This is just like by height and like author as well, kind of. So here we have Gothicana by Runex. This is the only book that I own by Runex. That's why it's there. My three books that I own by LJ Shen. So Vicious, The Hunter, and The Villain. My one book by Kennedy Ryan, which is real. Hunting Adeline by H.T. Carlton, and then Satan's Affair by H.T. Carlton. Colty by Mariana Zapata, and then my Addicted slash Callaway Sister series books. This is not even in order, I just realized, but oh well. Then we have Love in the Wild by Emma Castle, Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas, Misconduct by Penelope Douglas, Sweet Dandelion by Michaela Smeltzer, um, Stalk Her, and Wicked Princess by A. Jade. And then this is just, like, another type of thing with papers. I have no idea. These are just, I would use them for videos, but then now they're just little things filled with paper on my shelves. And then below that, we have my rom-com contemporaries. These are all, like, my illustrated covers that I love a lot. So here we have Call Me By Your Name by Andre Osman, Beat Read, Boyfriend Material, The Unhoneymooners, this is my Helen Huang section. Um, we have the Kiss Quotient, the Bride Test, and the Heart Principle. And then we have my um, Talia Hibbert section, which is obviously Get a Life, Chloe Brown, Take a Hint, Danny Brown, and then Actor Age, Eve Brown. We have my Tessa Bailey section, which is Fix Her Up, Love Her or Lose Her, and It Happened One Summer. And then Sarah Hoggle, You Deserve Each Other and Twice Shy. This is Farrah Sean, so the dating playbook, the boyfriend project, and then the arc of the dating playbook. Then we have an arc of how to marry Kanu Reeves, Kanu Reeves in um, 90 days. I always say 10 days, it's 90. Um, the Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood, one of my favorite books ever. And then these are all books that I only have one from the author, so Helena Hunting and DJ Christopher. Jasmine Guillory, Mia Sosa, Mia Sheridan. Um, this is L. Kennedy. I kind of want to put it up with um, the Briar U series. But yes, this is Top Secret by um, Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy. Love this book. Intercepted by Alexa Martin and The Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adam. So I love this shelf a lot. It's super colorful. And then lastly, that's my historical romance shelf that I don't care about, so I'm not going to go into it. Um, and also, it's just like a hot mess. So let's go across to the busting shelf, the worst shelf. This literally is the bane of my existence, and I just know it's going to come down soon. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do when it does, because all of these are like kind of like dipping. 
you can see the you can see the other side of these books through the crack like it's a mess let's get started into going into all of these so this first one is my fantasy shelf i have all of wow it's really not i tried to do it by color at first that's why it's kind of just like random looking but we have all the akatar series books they're not in complete order just because this is a hardback and then this is a paperback and i don't know how to make it look appealing but yes we have the court of thorns and roses series and then these two books from the a blood and ash series by jennifer l armentrout which i do i did love this book i didn't love this one at all actually so i never continued with the series and then we have City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, The Beautiful by Renee Adier, Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas, Shatter Me by Tahari Mafi, A Curse of Dark and Lonely, Legendborn, A Court of Frost and Starlight, The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman, The Raven Boys, The Cruel Prince, and then How or How the King of Elfame. Elfham, I don't know, learned to hate stories. Learn to hate stories. So that's the shelf. And then if we go down, this is basically just like my YA shelf. So we have two of the books in the selection series. This book that I still really want to read, this is Not the Just Show, and it is inspired by the Truman Show, which I love that movie. They Wish They Were Us by Jessica Goodman. I loved this book when I read it. I can't wait for the show to come out if that's even still happening. From Twinkle with Love, the To All the Boys series. I love the series so freaking much. Um, the Hate You Give, Me and Earl and the Dying Girl, Before I Fall, but again, but better. Wilder Girls, The Ravens, which I just freaking love this book so much. I cannot wait for the next book to come out. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, Just Listen by Sarah Dessen, and I'm not I'm Not Dying With You Tonight, an Ace of Spades. It's being held by this, like, candle that isn't really a candle, I guess. Then down below, we have my, like, paranormal shelf. This one's a bit random, to be completely honest. But we have this light that my mom just got for each of the windows for Christmas. And I stole it and put it on my bookshelf. I swear it looks better, usually, but on camera it looks really creepy. Um, so yeah, over here we have, we have the graphic novels that I own, two from The Walking Dead, book one and two, and then we have my favorite, favorite thing ever, Deadly Class, I love this, I loved the show when it came out, I was literally so obsessed, but unfortunately it didn't do well, so I was like, okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to start reading the graphic novels, and graphic novels are a bit expensive, so I've been checking them out of the library, and this is the one that I own. We have the Twilight series, so Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and The Midnight Sun. Never read them. I do want to read them eventually. That's why they're here, but I'm starting to think that that's just never going to happen, so we're going to have to see. We have Crave by Tracy Wolf. Never going to finish the series, even though I really did love Crave. We have Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead, and then Vampire Academy. These are both part of the Vampire Academy series. And then we have Pride and Prejudice in Zombies. And I think it's so, like, funny with the, um, light there. It just kind of, like, illuminates her zombie face. Never read this. Then we have My Heart, My Soul, besides this. Love you, Heather, though. Um, A Heart of Blood and Ashes by Mila Vane. And then my favorite books ever. This is the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. I love these books. And I need to continue with it. But we have Dark Lover, Lover Eternal, Lover Awakened, Lover Nourish, and Lover Revealed, Lover Unbound. And yeah, I just love this series so much. When I first started BookTube, I got into them. And they were just such fun, steamy times. And old. I loved going to like my, my bookstore that has a bunch of secondhand books and like scourging the shelves for these. And it was so much fun. I need to continue. I love them. Then below it, we have another one of my favorite shelves. I also really want to make a shelf that has all of my favorite books so badly. Um, where that's going to be, I don't know. I have to do some rearranging. But this is the 
this is my literary fiction shelf, so it is very random and sporadic. I didn't want to line them up by height order because I think it kind of looks cool when it's like staggering. So that is that. We have Educated by Tara Westover, Becoming by Michelle Obama, Memori Memorial by Brian Washington, Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. One of my favorite books ever. My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell, The Vanishing Half by Brett Bennett, another favorite. The Girls by Emma Klein, The Normal People by Sally Rooney, Play It As It Lays by Joan Didion, Mudvayne by Taryn Fisher. I actually don't know if this goes here. This could probably go with my romance shelf, but I never finished it, so I don't know if it's a romance or not. Withering Heights by Emily Bronte, Just Kids by Patti Smith, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, A Diary of Blood by S.T. Gibson. I love this book. Yeah, I love this book. It's probably my most annotated book. We have Bunny by Mona Awad, my favorite book also. All's Well by Mona Awad. This one's actually The Ark. Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Moshfeg, my literal favorite book. Like, I love this book so much. The Flamethrowers by Rachel Kushner. Valley of the Dolls, which I just love. This, it's Hot Pink Sprayed Edges. Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. The Great Gatsby, The Outsiders. <sighs> my babes, my babies. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and then Daisy Jones and the Six. She Regrets Nothing by Andrea Dunlop, um, Bear Town by Frederick Bachman, and Twisted, Emma Dubrai. So yeah, I really love this shelf. I love literary fiction so much. My horror slash thriller shelf, this one is looking a bit sad. We have this thing that I made in high school. It's disgusting, but it holds stops my books from falling, so that's why it is there. Okay, so over here we have um, When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole, The Southern Book Club's Guide to Saying Vampires, the Echo Wife by Sarah Gailey, My Best Friend's Exorcism, Little Fires Everywhere. This one isn't even really a thriller. That could definitely go up with literary fiction if there were room. We have The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda. Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. I read this last year and fell in love with it. Oh, that was so sad. The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. Into the Water by Paula Hawkins, The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins, You by Caroline Kepnes, Trading Secrets by Rachel Eccles, It by Stephen King, The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty, Seeing Red by Sandra Brown, Lovecraft Country, and then The Perfect Ruin by Shonora Williams. So yeah, this one's this shelf. I've not been in a thriller mood in literally, I want to say, half a year. <laughs> so... I don't know when I'll get to any of these, but I love the shelf. And then finally we have another historical romance shelf. This one isn't as loaded as that one, but this is just like random books that I only have one author, one book from an author from, except for these two, Lisa Kleypas's. But yeah, I'm just not in the mood to go through these just because they're awful. <laughs> like I, they look horrible and I don't, I hate the way I have them organized and they take up so much room, but we'll figure it out. And yeah, so that was my bookshelf tour. I love them some days and I hate them some days. Overall, they give me a place to store my books, so I'll always be happy and grateful for them.
So that was my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved filming it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out M's bookshelf tour. It will be linked down below. Yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Bye. If I got one thing right, it was you and me.